Hello, I now wanted to, I'm Rolf Kanevsky and I'm now introducing the short Mood Boobs. Um, this has almost nothing to do with There's Nothing Out There, uh, except uh, the poster to There's Nothing Out There can be seen in the background. This was shot over a period of two days in my apartment in North Hollywood. Uh, my uh, friend Tiffany Shepes was kind enough to, uh, to do the short, as well as uh, Shana Fuhrer and my uh, cat Callie. Um, this was produced uh, very cheaply. Uh, I was pretty much contacted by someone on the internet who wanted to see a short about breast growing. So I came up with this uh, little short 12-page script, which became an 18-minute short film. Got, uh, got Tiffany and some friends to help out and shoot it, and uh, it wound up actually being very successful. Uh, sold it on, on a website online and uh, sold out of it. Um, made like a thousand copies. So this little short film uh, got a lot of exposure and a lot of attention. Um, now it's been a couple years later. And the uh, financier of the movie uh, decided it would be cool to put it onto this disc. So it's never been officially commercially uh, uh, available. But for the first time, you can see it. Uh, a little short I did with Tiffany Shep is called Mood Boobs. Uh, the title pretty much says what it is. And uh, it's fun. So uh, just a little bonus special short. <laughs> uh, okay, thanks. Enjoy it. Oh my god, I totally forgot to tell you about last night. At the club, there's this guy there. Hold on. So, I do not stop staring at my chest. But I got my free drink, so. What the heck? Jake, you need a maid. It's not gonna be me. Hey, Gwen, it's me. I'm over at Jake's. He's out of town for a few weeks. Like an idiot. I told him I'd check in on his cat. Bring up the mail. I know, I know. I know, I know, I'm nice. It's a curse. Why? Because guys don't want nice. They want hot. Hot girls with big boobs. You've seen who Steve is dating. You know Steve, a hunk in the marketing department? Yeah. I got pancakes compared to most of the girls in this town. I mean, have you seen some of the cleavage at the agency? Every day it gets bigger and bigger. I think doctors are creating them with multiple settings now. You know, cough once for nipple extension, clap twice to go up a cup, but beware, boobs may go dangerously large when aroused, resulting in spontaneous orgasms. <laughs> hey, that's it. Mood boobs. Just like mood rings, but instead of changing in color, they fluctuate in size and sensitivity according to mood. Yeah. I only wish mine could do all those things. Well, I better go feed Devil Spawn. Jake's cat. Because she hates me, hides under the bed every time I come over. Yeah, I gotta let you go. Talk to you later. I know you're into crystals, Jake.
Wishing stone. Hold crystal in palm of hand and make a wish. Only one wish per person. Keep out of reach of children. Oh, sure. Okay. I wish I had a million dollars in front of me. Yeah. You didn't spend your life savings on this. Lunch and dinner is served. I only make one trip a day. Come and get it. If it was, I think the guys at work would rise to attention. Hey, Steve. for a million dollars. After I wish for emotional press, damn it! No, 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 no. I don't want angry nipples. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. I can handle this. I just have to control my mood. Keep my thoughts nice and peaceful. Steve. It's me, Amanda. I'm the cubicle on your right. I mean, I'm in the cubicle on your right. Oh no. <laughs> no, I'm just cat sitting for him. <laughs> so what are you doing? Working out, huh? 
sounds nice. I mean, nice in a sweaty, glistening kind of way. Homie, just playing with the pussy. Cat! Feeding her, making sure she's good and stuffed. Don't ask any questions. Just hold this crystal in your hand and wish me back to normal. It's not your shirt. It's Jake's. I had to borrow it. Now, please, just do this for me. Do what? Wish me back to normal. Hmm. Don't make me have to explain. When I was talking to you the other day, I was playing with the crystal and I accidentally wished for magical boobs. Remember? Mood boobs. <laughs> You're kidding, right? <sighs> no fucking way! Believe me now. So whenever you hear a clap, I get aroused or excited. When? Don't do that. Stop making that gift. Quick, stop it. Stop. Serves you right. Sorry, I just got carried away. Yeah, well, I've been through three shirts already, so if you wouldn't mind. <sighs> so, I mean, how do they feel? When they grow, it's not really a unpleasant sensation. <laughs> But I can't live like this. With the threat of my tits exploding out of my shirt every single time someone coughs, claps, or turns me on? Yeah, I see the problem. So what do you want me to do? I want you to wish me back to the way I was. Well, that seems like a waste. Use a wish to correct a wish. It says that you only get one wish per person? Yes, which is why I need you to do it. Well, what if we have, like, an alternative wish? You know, one that corrects the problem, but, you know, keeps the benefits? This is serious. Don't get creative. Chili? No, I'm getting annoyed. This is what happens when I get angry. <laughs> so if you were to get, like, really furious, they'd be, like, lethal weapons and stuff? <laughs> what? Okay. Um, I'll do it. Uh, 
Let me just use the restroom and I'll be right back. Just keep those things away from me. <sighs> Sorry, guys. This body can only have one leader. Ready. It's done. What? Made the wish. It's done. Test it out. Okay, one more. Steve Butler, working out, flexing those muscles, kissing me. <laughs> oh, thanks, Quinn, you're a real pal. If most people were given one wish, they'd use it for their own selfish purposes. You're right about that. Self-esteem, it's mood boost. Marvelous mood. 